Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Light and today we're here to talk about the many different types of light bulbs that are out there and to talk about the effects of these light bulbs both in the light that they put out and also the electromagnetic radiation that they put out commonly known as electromagnetic interference. And we're going to use a very simple AM radio to pick up on these electromagnetic interference effects. And we're going to start with our conventional light bulb. These are what have been around for many decades now. And we're going to switch on our radio. And the radio is there to pick up on the electromagnetic noise that this light bulb may or may not put out. So let's see what a conventional light bulb does to the radio. Absolutely nothing. Now these conventional light bulbs put out quite a yellow light. And some people don't particularly like the colour that comes out of these light bulbs. I'm not a fan of it. And we're going to talk about much better light bulbs a little bit later. So here's our energy star light bulbs. You'll recognize these. They're in many shops. Many people are telling you that if you don't buy these, you're not green. So a lot of people have now installed these in their houses. So let's see what these do. Listen to the radio as we switch it on. As you can see, these light bulbs are out quite a large amount of radio frequencies. And people are starting to report uh, problems around these light bulbs, and it's documented as electromagnetic hypersensitivity. That was our smallest of our fluorescents. So let's try a medium-sized fluorescent. So listen to the radio. So we've got a three-foot field approximately coming out of this light bulb. And the light that comes out of these does not occur in nature. It's a very man-made, unnatural light, and you can't liken it to what the sun produces. It's, it's completely industrial. So this is our largest of our energy star fluorescent light bulbs. And let's see how much more noise we get from it. So listen to the radio. So we have a much, much larger field coming out of this light bulb. And it's probably somewhere between 10 and 15 feet. This is a very electrically noisy light bulb. As you see, the uh, electrical interference goes away as soon as we switch it off. And these produce generally a cool white light, and it's very, very unnatural. It may have implications with your health to be picking up on um, cool white fluorescent light. Indeed, almost all fluorescent light may be able to impact your health. Now, this one looks like a conventional light bulb, but it's actually a compact fluorescent, and you can, you can see it, you can see the swirls of the tube underneath the globe. So we're going to plug this one in and see what this one does. Listen 
listen to the radio. And we can see that, you know, the electrical field is clearly distance related. And if your body is picking up on that, it's probably going to get ill at some point in the future. Now, electromagnetic interference is well documented as electromagnetic hypersensitivity. And it's known to cause uh, mental illness as well as physical body illness. So what should you be using? Well, here's uh, two samples of uh, much better lighting products. The first is uh, a halogen light bulb. This particular one is made by Philips. It's called an EcoVantage. And here it is, right here. Let me see, it's a light bulb within a light bulb. So it's a halogen light bulb right in the middle. And then it has an outer glass envelope which filters out the UV radiation that this light produces. And you'll see that these produce a very white light. And I, I, I like the light that comes out of these halogen light bulbs. And more importantly, no electromagnetic noise on the radio. So, our last light bulb that we're going to test today is what's known as a full spectrum light bulb. And it looks like the first light bulb that we tested, but it has a coating on it which modifies the spectrum of the light. And there's the logo, Color Enhanced Full Spectrum. So these are, these are being manufactured and tested to be as natural as possible, although there is no such thing as a full spectrum light bulb. It is a marketing term. The only full spectrum lighting product that there is is called the sun. So let's switch this one on and see what it does. And no electromagnetic noise on the radio. So you can see that light bulbs that produce the light from producing heat are very, very quiet in the electromagnetic spectrum. Whereas light bulbs that produce the light through gas discharge, such as the fluorescence, are very noisy lamp bulbs. And one of the reasons why they are so noisy is that they have a little bunch of electronics on their base. These little white blocks that are at the base of the light bulbs contain power electronics which drives them. And a lot of the noise is originating from that location. And this is not a new subject of study. It was extensively studied by a man called John Nash Ott. And he wrote many books on the subject. This is one of them, called Health and Light. And it's a very interesting read. And he documents the effects of these light bulbs and how they can impact the health of plants, animals, and humans. And he did a video, and it's called Exploring the Spectrum. And he filmed a lot of his experiments, which are shown on this DVD. And it makes for interesting watching to see what he came up with. And most surprisingly, when you realize that he found all this information out back in the 1950s. And here we are today, and our products are still putting out electromagnetic fields. So hopefully, uh, you now know which types of lights to buy and which types to avoid. And you, if you feel like doing more research on the subject, you now know where to go and find it. I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and I wish you the best of health. Thank you.